Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Opoemi and in this particular channel, if you are new, welcome. <laughs> On this particular channel, we talk about career development, personal development growth and motivation. All the serious good things that help you to achieve your dream life. Yeah, that is what we'll do here. Recently, I've been trying to answer some questions on interview, like the kind of questions you get to ask you when you go for an interview. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about that very question that you cannot escape. Like, hey God, it's a kind of question that I honestly do not like. I don't. But um, you might not or we might not be able to avoid this kind of question most times. So and what is the question? The question is tell me about yourself. I am who I am. <laughs> Honestly, I am who I am. This is me. What else do you want to know? Okay, but honestly, this is not what they want to know. They know that you are who you are, you are what God says you are. <laughs> so what the interviewer is actually asking is similar to this. Hello, I have a problem. I need a data analyst. Are you good at, are you a good one? Show me that you are actually the kind of data analyst that I want. That is actually what they are trying to ask you when they say, tell me about yourself so after this video you're going to understand the things that you're supposed to say the things that you're not supposed to say things that you should have in mind while you're answering this question and all the things that are necessary for you to answer this question effectively now let's get right into business please <laughs> okay so um starting with things you're not supposed to say i've mentioned it earlier I just give you a summary. Do not talk about your personal family background. They're not interested in that. And um, your personal self, your personal ambition, they are not interested in that. Don't tell them, oh, I want to be the future president. So I look at myself in the mirror and I see Christ in me, the hope of glory. <laughs> Okay, in an interview setting, that is not what they want. What do they want? So there are two different kind of styles that you can actually use to answer this question. Mind you, these two styles, they are still going to give you almost the same answer. It's just like what you have in your mind. So the first style is the three style of um, talking about your past present and future that is what you should talk about when you want to answer the question tell me about yourself the second style i won't say it yet so let's move for the first style first and let's see if you like it or not tell me about yourself you're supposed to talk about your past the present and the future and the past entails things that you've done before um your previous achievements your previous experience your previous position at work this is what the past is talking about the present is talking about what are you currently doing your recent achievement things you're currently progressing the skills that you possess at the moment and the future is talking about how can you be of help to this company do you get that like how can you be of help to this company what makes you best fit for this particular position mind you when you're answering this question i expect that you already have read about the job description diligently and the skills that are required for this particular role read it and digest them diligently because that is what you're going to apply to yourself so if the job role is requesting for someone who has leadership skills who has um communication skills who has a problem solving skills you're going to be talking around all of these skills to describe yourself second style is about answering three questions who how and what w H W, who, how, what, who are you? How did you get there? What can you bring to the table? 
No, it's just very similar to the past, present, and future. So you just have to think about the one that you can easily remember when they ask you this question. So who are you is still talking about what have you done before? What have you achieved in time past? How did you start this career path you're talking about? The how is talking about how did you get here? Like, how did you, how were you able to accomplish all of this? The good stories. And the what can you bring to the table? How can you really help me? I have a problem. How can you help the interviewer who has a problem? What value can you bring to the table? So as I said, these two stars actually link to the same area. It just depends on whichever one you want to use. So whichever one I'm trying to address, just know I'm saying almost the same thing. So I'll be giving you an example of how to answer the question, tell me about yourself as a recent graduate who has not really been into the workspace and I know people usually have this kind of issue. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. My name is Opemi. I'm a recent graduate of business administration at XYZ University. Over the years, I've built a couple of skills that I believe will be of great value for your company. During my time at the university, I was elected as a course representative, which helped me build my interpersonal relationship skills, my communication and leadership skills. At the time, I organized a program between the lecturers and the students and this program boosted the interpersonal relationship between the lecturers and students at 85 percent aside my academic pursuits i'm currently in a writing community we, where the focus is on economic and business related articles this has actually built my writing skills and it has enhanced my communication as well as my team working skills um, although I do not have a work experience yet, but I am someone who is eager to apply my skills and knowledge to a professional setting. I'm a quick learner and I'm motivated to contribute to the success of your company. I am aware that one of your company value is excellence and I believe if I'm hired for this position, I will give my best towards achieving the company's goals and objectives. Thank you. Actually, that template is for someone who did not have a job experience at all, who, has just, who is just a recent gadget. I know there are a couple of, um, I know if you check online, most of the tell me about yourself is usually for people who have experience. And that is why I have made this for those who do not have experience to so talk about things that you've achieved in the past when you were in school, um, extracurricular that you um engage in and if you are actually if you actually have experience i think it's a plus one for you so you can just talk about your past experience what you were able to achieve in your previous experience the recent skills and talents that you have that will be um that you know that the company this new company is currently looking for so these are the things that is actually that are actually going to help you to be able to deliver your elevator speech effectively all right if you like if you enjoyed the video don't forget to click on the like button give your comments please share with friends and family and i'll see you again in my next video cheers